Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to be showing you my top 5 shaders I like to use in Minecraft. Small disclaimer, this is my own opinion, If let's say if you disagreed with number 1 or even number 2 or even any of the numbers, please tell me down below in the comments which one you'd like to replace with which and maybe I'll do a follow up video later on down the line and also all the links and information is down in the description including mine and why you're down there. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and like button. A lot of effort went into this video editing and filming. So yes, let's get on with the video. Right then, let's start off with number five. Number five is a shader called Cuda Shaders. And this is a standard shader I'd class it as, uh, but they have changed it around. The water texture is quite nice. The waving grass is nice as well, as you can see there. And the leaves are wavy as well but some shaders what I you know not all shaders but quite a lot of shaders take this way out of proportion you know really wavy and I'm not a big fan of that personally and the shadows are okay on here as well so as we can see my shadow here and the grass we'll quickly set it to night so we'll go night there we go so it's quite dark but if we get a torch out of our inventory where is it there it is and put it down nice illumination evenness and also we've got the standard so we'll place a few more down so it's nice and standard it's good on your frame rate i'm getting around 75 to 110 this is while i'm not recording so i get a better frame rate because when you do record it does knock it down but no it is nice standard it's not the best on this list but as i said in the start of the video this is my own opinion but now i'm going to show you a full minecraft day so from like time zero goes through night it's like a 24 hour clock but time lapsed so about a you know 30 seconds to a minute long so hopefully you'll enjoy that and uh yeah and then we'll move on to number four Right then, so number four is Super Shaders. So this is a decent shader. It's a more lighter shader, I class it as. So as you can see by the water from the last one, it's a lot lighter and you can see through it will go in and you can see it a lot clearer as well. It has actually got quite nice shadows on the ground as well. And we'll quickly go and have a look. Oh, and there's brightness exposure there. But we'll quickly have a look at the grass. So it's swading nice and decent there we'll go and have a look at the leaves as well so the leaves so the leaves are moving down there so you must be a little bit of distance away from seeing them move but i think it's this one so as you see there you, if you do crash into stuff stuff does go blurry but it's, it's like an autofocus so yeah it's a nice standard one as again and as i said the fr frame rate 80 to 100 frames when i'm not recording so yeah and here we'll have another quick look around and we'll have a look at the animals as well so yes once again i'm going to show you another time lapse of a full day cycle and night cycle and i hope you enjoy Right then, number three is Robo1221. So this is a still a lighter shader, but the water texture has changed quite a lot since the last one. So as, as you see here, it seems it quite clear. So if we stand on the bank, maybe it's it's quite much a lot more dark, especially when you go underneath, it is really dark. So 
and we can hold the torch to get a bit of light but it is a lot darker but there is a nice water texture on the top so yeah and we'll quickly do the normal grass check so the grass is swaying same with the leaves and we've got some nice little clouds up in the sky and a nice sun as well so yeah it's a nice um, nice one and it's the frame rate on this one is 90 to 110 frame rate while i'm not recording so yeah and we'll quickly check why you know we'll go we'll set it to night so we can have a look so there you go Ooh, that's uh so we've got nice stars as well in the sky and a nice sunset down there and as you can see here the torches don't give off a lot of light but they will do you know do the normal minecraft torch limit so yeah, it is a darker shade at night definitely for a fact we'll even put another torch down and when we've been holding it we do get the glow so as you see here before we go down into the cave so yeah and now i'll show you the uh the time lapse of a full day cycle Right then, so number two is pronounced, I think, Silders Shaders. So hopefully I pronounced it wrong. If I if I haven't, I'm very sorry. But this is a much lighter shader, as you can see by the grass. Uh, the grass is a quite a bit more wavy, and we'll look at the trees. So as you can see over there, not not too much wavy, but they are wavy to add the nice detail. And we'll have a quick look at the water. So the water texture is okay on top. And when we go underneath, it's more bluish. So he's gone off the, you know, the actual colour. Uh, can we see any shading on the bottom? No, but the sky is quite nice. It's mainly, I class it as a bit cloudy. So yeah, more, more cloudy than anything. But uh, on here, there is quite a lot of lens flare. But this one is probably the best one to run. So while I'm not recording, the frame rate on this, this one is 95 to 140 frames per second and that is quite good for a shader depending on what you're doing so if you're just running around and mining that's what you've been getting so yeah quite a decent one and we'll quickly change it to night and see how everything is doing so now that is a nice sunset or a nice miss and over here the torches are a lot brighter and does does it yep and you you have got your glow off your shader so when we when we jump in We'll jump in down here. Water is quite okay at night. It's not too dark. And the moon is quite decent. As you can see there, the nice little lens flares. I think you'd class them as. So yeah, now I'm going to show you the uh, 24 hour clock one. Or the time lapse again. So you can see the day and night cycle in the shader. Right then. And then we'll move on to number one. Right then, we're on the last one, so this is number one, and it is called Sonic's Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. So this is my go-to shader what I like using. There are some downsides, what I will explain, but as you can probably just see from this one angle, it is absolutely lovely. So we'll check the grass first. So as you can see, grass is swading, leaves are swading. The leaves are okay. I don't like a lot of suede, as I said a lot in um, at the start of the video. But one what 
the one thing that wins me on this one there's two features it's water and the sky it looks absolutely real so yeah and as you can see there i did get a little bit of frame lag sadly now this one is a quite a big impact on your system especially when you're recording when you're not recording you can play it you know quite fine but when you are it is so i'm currently i'm just under 60 at the moment normally i'd be about 60 high end 60 to 110 frames so anywhere around there depending on what you're doing when you're not recording but no it is a lovely thing so if we just look underwater as well you can see the shadows and also we'll set it to night so you can have a look what happens so there we go there's the torches nice exposure on the torches quite big range but nope and the night sky looked quite decent and also we'll uh, let's type in to get let's see if we can get the moon up do we nope let's change that number to a five there we go so the moon's been slanted and we do get a nice glow off it as well so yeah that's that and now i'm going to show you the uh, time lapse of the day cycle right now and then we'll finish off the video then guys that is my top five lists for my shaders i hopefully it's been okay for you i know i've stumbled a few times on some words but hopefully you've enjoyed it please tell me down below how i could have improved it or which shaders would you rather see in a top five or ten list and yeah so that is pretty much it guys so make sure you subscribe favorite share go and follow me on twitter and like this video it does help out a lot so yeah and as i said in the start of the video all the information is down below make sure you go and check out all these guys i do a lot of work on their shaders and make sure you you know say thank you to them so yes that is it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you next time and hopefully if you look out you'll see a video on actually how to install the shader mod onto your minecraft so yes once again guys thank you for watching i'll see you next time goodbye